Hey guys, it's Spider Pig. So today we're going to be testing out a Ford Air Controller script that I found on the F99 uh, um, forums, uh, not forums, server. I played with them and I kind of they showed me it around and uh, I'm kind of going to be testing it out. So if you look up here in the F10 menu, there's a, a FAC window. I'm going to set my code to 1688. So I got a buddy of mine who's going to be jumping in the 810 wad here and uh, he should be in there already and uh, we're gonna go ahead and test it out all right recording is on It's just basically fly north where the X is and all spot targets for you. But the theory is I'll be there and I'm going to be on laser code 1688 and I'll hide okay. and find you targets and you kind of just come in and kill them. You'll be on MGR? Uh, well, MGRS? It, no, just use the, uh, do you know how to use the LSS to find the laser? Cause uh, it, it'll, it'll let you know. Basically, um, because of the way the script works, it'll actually give you all the coordinates you need. In the window, okay. so you'll you'll see. But it'll be easier to find it with the L LSS code, uh, LSS search mode. All right, I'm a uh, loaded. Roger that. I see you. I'm to your left. You start up quickly, man. Oh, was it already started? It was already started. It was uh, I got you. Yeah, I'm just still waiting for alignment now. Let me know when you get airborne and I'll, uh, I'll take off. Roger that. Oh, yeah, I see your targets up north. Yeah, on the, yeah. On uh, the training range. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, just, uh, if you want to oh, maybe... Shit, I'll just take off. I'll just take off and get up there. Yeah, just take off. Stay over the water. And, uh, you know, I'll be there. I'm going to hide just so I can laser the targets up. And uh, right. once when you'll see because it'll, it'll show you information basically once I'm on station. So, you'll, you'll see. I'm, I'm taking off right now, so... Just got to get there fairly quickly. Yeah, I'm just 30 kilometers from it, so it shouldn't be too long.
once I'm actually, um, I believe, 10 kilometers out. I don't yeah, know if something it's, like that. Yeah, I should be able to spot the target, so I'll go on station then. I don't know if it's 10 kilometers, 10 miles. We'll find out here in a second. Alright, let me go on station and see if it picks up anything. Alright, so you should should have gotten the message that I'm on station and the code is 1688. And as soon as I have yep, line of sight it. to a target, it'll it'll tell you the information. I got the target area. Yeah, let me get a little higher because I don't directly to my uh, right wing now. Roger. I'll just orbit here until you're ready. Okay. I'm just gonna get a little higher. I'm 18 kilometers now, and uh, so I should be able to start picking up targets. But I, because there's buildings in a way, I think it's yeah. blocking it. So I'll get a little higher, see if I can get above the buildings. Until I get closer, then I'll hide. That way, I can kind of maintain my my stealthiness. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it looks like it is 10 kilometers because I can see the targets on my TV and I'm about 14 kilometers now. So within four kilometers, I should be able to laser him for you.
All right, I'm just orbiting on station. Yep, looks like you have a uh, new target. You got target already? Yeah, you should see it at the top right. It should say, I'm lasering. Oh, yeah, there it is. And there's also red smoke on it. I'm going to go get a little lower here and uh, start hiding in this little town. All right, let me know when you want me to run in, and I'll run in. You're cleared hot as soon as you can. All right. Running in. You should see the smoke on target as well, and uh, laser guide should be all good. Yep, I got smoke. Far southern target. Yep, I believe so. I can't really see right now since I'm kind of trying to get lower. I see the red smoke though. Yeah, it is. Looks like it is the southern target. Yeah. I'll almost at the town southwest of it, and I'll hide behind a building here to maintain cover. I'll be there. You got your laser on, right? It's yeah, it's automatically on the whole time. Okay. Until you just the target's destroyed, pretty much. Laser is off. Seven, yep. six, five, four, three, two, one. Pickle. Roger that. I'm watching the target. And no, a bomb, yeah, a bomb fell. It's guiding. Yep, it's guy. Looks like the guy's moving too. Yep, it's guy. Good hit. Good hit. You got a new target. All right. I'll start destroying some targets too. While you destroy those targets. Does each time you, uh, it puts out red smoke? Yep. So that way, even if you want to go for, like, gun run, it's a lot easier for you to yeah. see it. Yeah. Is this... Rifle. Go ahead. Is this the target that's off the run, off the little runway now? Uh, hold on. Let me take a look, because I'm right now, I'm... Targeting one just a little north of that target. Alright, let me look now. Uh, yeah, it looks like yeah, it's it's it. He's, yeah, he's, he's a little north. Looks like of the uh, the smoke, but the laser the laser stays on him, so you're good. All right, rolling in. Actually, looks like it. 
Well, we'll see which one the laser picks when, when he drops it. I'm watching the area. Correct. Looks like it's tracking something there. Good hit, good hit. Get the next one lasered up. <laughs> Rifle. Yeah, I only got four hot missiles. I mean, I mean, two, uh, yeah, hot three missiles. Uh, so I'll just use them up, killing stuff, and you get, you can have the rest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Watching the target. Good hit, good hit. Next target's up. Now, how are you throwing these targets at me? Did you put in a script to make it do that automatically, or what? So, you know the, um, like with the CTLD, there's that uh, JTAC guy that we, we can put on the ground? Yeah. So, it basically uses the same code as that guy. So, it's the first enemy he sees, he lasers oh, the target. Oh, laser, okay. So, it's essentially making the gazelle that, you know, AI the, unit, so, yeah. Yeah. But it's kind of nice because it makes, you know, once I use my four missiles, I can stay in the, in the area and I can laze targets for you and find targets for you. And uh, even if, you know, you're out of missiles or out of um, bombs, you still have a visual to go in with guns in. So. Right. Rolling in. Seconds impact. It's tracking. Now 
next one's up and running for you. And it's nice because it has both latitude and longitude and MGRS. So yes, yeah. And there's four codes I can choose from, which are, you know, um, when you, it's in the script itself that you can predefine which four laser codes you want to be able to use. And I chose the 1688 because obviously that's, that's the default for you. That's yeah. the default, yep. And then it's like any other script where you just have to name the, the unit, the gazelle unit, a certain name. And then, you know, it's all good. In seconds. Roger that. Pickle. Good hit. Good boom. So it looks like it's going for the closest one because there's two right there, and it it chose yeah, the one that was close. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like it's doing. Yep. It'd be nice if I could actually choose because we were doing a mission one time. We kept choosing the infantry, and I'm like, I know there's better targets out there, but uh, yeah, you think that you could be able to choose its highest threat. Yeah, so I mean, eventually I'll see if I can maybe tinker with the thing and and program that in somehow. This one might be off. I was kind of pulling. It's tracking. That's tracking. Now it's doing the one right next to it. Pickle. Yeah, this kind of makes it easier. Uh, yep. For me. Oh, well, exactly. I mean, so, you know, and I'm finding the targets for you, and all you have yep. to do is basically get in. And that's why if you have, like, the LSS, you know, search mode, it'll even just make it even easier for you, because it'll search, lock on, and, you know, then you can kind of just get in the area and, and drop the bomb. Like I said, even if, if there was, um, if you were out of bombs, you could still have guns, you know, you can go in with guns and you could have a nice visual, yeah, a nice visual red smoke on them. seconds yep it's like the target moved a little bit to the south but laser should still be on the target pickle Nice. 
wish there was a way to drop like two of them at once. Yeah. Well, it still would only track on that one laser. Track though. on that one yeah. target. Yeah. Though, yep. But if you have two gazelles, each one could be using different codes. So, you know, you could definitely have you know, multiple people in one here. Bombs, yeah. yeah. Or even, you know, the more gazelles, you could have up to four gazelles, and then, we, you know, you can have up to four people, you know, dropping different bombs and stuff like that, as long as you're communicating correctly and designating different targets, and, yeah. Good hit. Yeah, this works good. Yeah. How many more do you have? I've got uh, three more bombs. Let's do I it. Think all, how many more you got down there? Uh, should be plenty of targets left. Let's one, take a look. Two, oh, yeah, there's three, definitely more four. than three, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to run in on the last one. Guns. All right. It's tracking. Good job. I'm going to see how hard I can turn into one. All right. And still get enough time to uh, pickle it off. So they don't try to toss the bomb. How this one goes. Been overshooting. Yeah, doesn't look like it's tracking. Nope. That look, it looks like you'll have extra ones to kill with the guns then. Now, what's your laser? Oh, you said it's, it's a constant laser. Your laser's yeah. on all the time. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. As soon as I drop, it's picking it up. Yep. Essentially, when they go off station, it turns off the laser. Good hit. Good hit, good hit. Getting on for guns now? Yeah, I'm rolling on guns. I want to get a little closer to them. Don't hit me. <laughs>
Guns, guns, guns. Nice. Do this one run, hit both of them. Okay. Next two. Yeah, you mean uh, west of the uh, runway? Yes. Yeah, I got eyes on them right now. Yeah, they're firing at me. Guns, guns, guns. Guns, guns, guns. I didn't hit the second one. Yeah, see? Yep, you hit that one, yeah. They were kind of starting to fire at me, so I figured I'd, I'd shake them a little bit. Starting to hit me. I'm gonna take a little more cover. <laughs> guns, 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 and guns. Nice. And guns, guns, guns. Low, low. Looks like you got at least two of them. I don't know about the main target one, but. Ah, right, he just blew up. Yeah, so you got one left. Damn, the first one I didn't even hit. Yeah, he's firing at me now. Guns, guns, guns. Huh? Oh, belt on him. Looks like you hit him. Let me see. Good. Get about yep. 500 rounds on him. Yep. See so how for targets. I don't think it's going to find anything else. We should be good. Let me go take a visual peek. It'll return to base. Roger that. I'll race you there. So you're able to kill 16 targets, and I did four. So I think that's a pretty good day's work. Yep. Lethal combination there.
Any damage on your A-10? No, not. He's got a couple holes in my They were shooting at you. They weren't shooting at me. <laughs> yeah. They weren't that good of shots, except for one of them actually hit my windshield. I'll take a little look a little closer when I land. Well, in theory, I should never really gotten close to them, but that's all right. Yeah. Because I could, I could run right in on. They were just looking at you. Yep. Roger that. I'm 23 kilometers away. I should have probably put a fire up a little closer, but that's alright. Took a picture of it. Still fourteen kilometers away.
Yeah. I went off station. Damn, I didn't even know there was a rail yard there. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. I was following the railroad tracks most of the way back. Are you parked already? Yes. Alright, I'll come land right next to you. Is that harder to fly than the Huey or anything? A little bit. It's a little more agile, so I was, and I, I definitely a little bit uh, for the lining. I definitely felt that I, I took a couple hits because the uh, the dynamics were a little bit off. But uh, but yeah, the Huey's a little different just because the the rotor spins the other way as well. So yeah. yeah, it's it's a you know it's fun. But this one's very agile, and you know you can do a lot of cool things with. It. Well, thanks for helping me test out the mission. Yeah, bud. Appreciate I it. Appreciate it. All right. I'm going out to the mountains now. Uh, have fun. All right, bud. Later. Later.